Welcome to C is for Cocktails, because wine can't be swizzled. You'll get that joke later. Today's cocktail is the Moscow Mule. Right now, the most popular cocktail out there seems to be the espresso martini. Back in my day, when I was a bartender in the 2010s, I'd have to say it was the Moscow Mule. I made so many of them. And most places I worked served them as big, bubbly, punch bowl sized drinks in copper cups that people loved to steal from our bar. And that cocktail is fine. It's vodka, lime juice, and ginger beer, and you can find a hundred other recipes on the internet to help you make that. Because today, we're gonna make a Moscow Mule that's going to blow your mind with fresh ginger. It's a giant pain in the butt, but it is hugely worth it. And now a bit of history. The story of how this drink came to be, like all drinks, is subject to debate, but it essentially goes like this. In the 1930s, John Martin had bought the Smirnoff vodka brand, Hello. but Americans were more interested in whiskey than vodka, so he was having trouble selling it. In the meantime, Jack Morgan was the owner of the Cock and Bull Pub in Los Angeles Hello. and was trying to sell excess inventory of ginger beer. Finally, a Russian immigrant named Sophie owned a company that made copper products and had been trying to sell off 2,000 or so excess copper mugs. In essence, they all had products they were trying to be rid of. Sophie walked into Jack's bar to try and sell the mugs. John happened to be there and they powwowed and came up with the smash hit, the Moscow Mule. Cue the behind the music episode. As I mentioned, you can throw two ounces of vodka and half a lime on ice in a copper cup topped with ginger beer and call it a day. But today we're gonna make this drink from scratch. The hard part is making fresh ginger syrup. Now, if you wanna skip all this, the Liquid Alchemist makes a pre-made decent ginger syrup, but there's nothing better than the spicy bite of fresh. To make it, you need ginger juice. The easiest way is to go to your local juice shop and see if they'll sell you some and the second best way is to use a home juicer. But I don't have either of those options, so I'm making it from scratch. Peel the ginger with a spoon, chop into small pieces, cover with water in a blender, blend and strain. Then put the liquid back in the blender, add equal parts sugar and blend until mixed. I like to make a big batch, take some of it and use fresh and then freeze some of it in smaller containers for when I need it. Now it's easy. In a highball or Collins glass, add three quarters an ounce ginger syrup, three quarters an ounce fresh lime juice, and two ounces vodka. Fill three quarters of the way with crushed ice and swizzle. Quick note about swizzling. The goal of mixing a cocktail is not only mixing, it's also to chill and dilute and sometimes aerate the drink. There's a few ways to do this. Stir or shake, which you probably know, but with crushed ice drinks, you can also swizzle. This funny looking thing, it's called a swizzle stick. And this is the original kind from a special plant found in the Caribbean islands. But you can use a mixing spoon just as well. To swizzle, simply put the stick into the crushed ice and twist aggressively for 10 to 15 seconds. Don't go too long as the crushed ice can really over dilute the drink. But there we go. It's mixed, it's aerated, and ready to go. Fill to the top with more crushed ice and garnish with a lime wheel as thin as you can make it. Ceramic knives really help with this. They don't react to the acid from the citrus, so they stay sharp forever. Ah, man, that is spicy. And that's the point. Vodka doesn't really taste like anything anyway, so my goal here is to taste all that beautiful, fresh ginger syrup and the fresh lime. Let's talk about variations. There are some famous, and in my opinion, better variations on this drink. Swap the vodka for gin for a more dynamic cocktail. Use dark rum to make a dark and stormy, or use bourbon to make a Kentucky mule or bourbon buck. Or use tequila and top with creme de cassis for my personal favorite, an El Diablo. Have fun with it, make it your own, and we'll see you next time on C is for Cocktails. Hey, just a quick 15 second commercial to tell you about our Vino VIP Club, 
We're independently produced and we're supported by viewers like you. So if you have a moment, check it out. We do early access to all our videos for our VIP members, our YouTube videos and our full episodes. We do monthly raffles and giveaways. We do quarterly Zoom hangouts where you get to hang out with me and chat. Members only videos that are exclusive to our members and a whole bunch more. So if you have a moment, please consider supporting. You can click the link above or you can head to vsravino.com backslash VIP to sign up.